This is Gary Dean, PremiumCustomDetailing.com in Tampa, Florida. I'm here with a 1980 Porsche 911. The Porsche was purchased by my client. He thought it only needed a tune-up, but unfortunately, the entire engine had to be rebuilt. did a test spot the other day with M105 and M205 and you can see the benefit there. Still doesn't look necessarily as good as I can get it so we're gonna, I'm gonna compound it a little bit more and get some of those defects out. But the gloss is superior and the clarity, I mean you can see that, there's no question. I'm gonna have to put in some elbow grease on this one, but I feel very confident that this is gonna turn out really well. For the most part, it's sat around for years, collecting dust in a barn prior to the sale. Paint looks to be in very good condition with the exception of all this crazy haze. The wheels need some TLC, it's no problem. All the windows have been removed. He's having the interior completely redone as well. Headliner, all the upholstery, everything's getting redone. And the engine is currently behind closed doors being rebuilt. All right, it's all taped up, ready for polishing now. After wash, the Ultima Elastra Foam paint cleaning system. Got the paint all clean and smooth. It's all hazy and gross right now, but that'll all change once I start compounding. Remove the seal so that polish doesn't sit in that. All the seals are being replaced on this vehicle anyway. It's got some issues in the paint where it's been repaired before. Those issues need to be wet sanded, but the client didn't want to take care of that, so no problem. Hopefully the compound will smooth out those areas a little bit make it look better. At this point, he's got a whole lot of money in it and doesn't necessarily want to spend a whole lot more. So I've done some test panels. I did some test stuff the other day, uh, but now I have done half the hood and a piece of the fender for you to see M105 and then M205 in action. I'm actually cutting with the Serba five and a half inch micro finger pad on the Grio Garage DA that you see there and then I'm polishing with a white Lake Country CCS five and a half inch pad and M205 and there's no mistaking the difference between this crazy nasty oxidized 31 year old paint and the new never exposed to the air paint that I have found underneath underneath the rubble. This car is definitely a diamond in a rough. I'm I'm excited that it's coming out this nice. I'm excited to show the owner that his money was well spent.
All right, here it is, the end of the first day. Use McGuire's M105 and then M205. Get those issues in the door. Somebody made a repair and it wasn't a very good one. Seems like the only part on the car that's been repainted. But we got all the gloss back. We got all the gloss that it once had. So that's good. You can really see those dents down here now that it's polished, but I offered to call my paintless dent repair guy. The client didn't want to put any more money into it, so we're not going to get those taken care of. But as you can see, all the gloss is back at the end of day one. This is nine hours worth of polishing. A lot of hand polishing in these areas. This area here, both these areas. Inside there, hand polished as well as the other side. I've got the Dr. Color Chip system for all these chips that are all over the place, like these here. All that. So, day two will be filling in the chips and opti guarding the car. So I'm here on the second day of this Porsche. It's a 1980 911 SC. It's been a real pain. Uh, more issues than I care to speak about with this thing, but it's all complete now and all the trim is done. The OptiGuard coating was put on the car. It was, it's been just a, the biggest chore ever. Uh, it looks fantastic now. The goal of this detail was not real defect removal. It was semi defect re removal and you know cutting down the oxidation and getting the gloss back and you can see that that has been absolutely achieved with no question. Uh, it has all kinds of different chips all over it. It still has some on this bottom plate right here. There wasn't enough paint to fix those, unfortunately. But you can see the gloss is back. The car looks good. All the trim has been treated. Uh, the trim was quite, quite faded and sun damaged. And I questioned OptiGuard's ability to actually take care of the trim, so I used the Ultima Tire and Trim Guard Plus on all the trim.
So while it's not a permanent coating, it definitely hydrated and will protect. I also use the Ultima Tire and Trim Guard Plus on the tires. All the chips were repaired. The edges were pretty bad. All those were repaired. Unfortunately, I kind of had to glob it on the edges to make a solid layer of paint covering the metal surfaces. Again, you can see all the dings. I offered to have those repaired. He didn't want to spend the money on that, so we left those out of the deal. He also did not want to have those wet sanded out. I'm not sure how much I would have actually been able to remove. You can see that ding right there as well. But I did offer to try to wet sand it. He didn't want to do... I think the issue here is the uh, my client has, is into the car for far more than it's worth and far more than he expected. So there was a limit to what he wanted to put into it and I cannot say that I blame him. The turnaround in my opinion was fantastic. Now it's coated with the OptiGuard so the shine has been enhanced and it's got a layer of protection on the... well it's funny how you get into a detail and you begin to see things that were not mentioned at the beginning of the conversation between you and the client. Some of this car has been repainted for sure with no question other than that door over there. The passenger door was, well, it may have been just touched up, not completely painted. Who knows? Anyway, I took a beat up old Porsche and made, made it look like a presentable driver and that's all I guess you could really ask for with this old paint so it looks good I'm happy with the way it turned out and I'm sure the client will be ecstatic at the turnaround so Thank you so much for watching this video.